Hello friends and welcome to Speech Day with Tiana May. I'm Tiana May and today's superpower that we will be discussing is, drum roll please, giving. Giving is the superpower we are going to discuss today. And as you can tell from the picture, we will be reading The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. It's a great book and a great author. I'm so excited to get into it. So if you have your own copy, go get it. And if you don't, just sit tight and we'll get started together. The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein Once there was a tree and she loved a little boy And every day, the boy would come. And he would gather her leaves. And make them into crowns and play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk and swing from her branches and eat apples and they would play hide and go seek and when he was tired he would sleep in her shade and the boy loved the tree very much and the tree was happy but time went by and the boy grew older and the tree was often alone then one day the boy came to the tree and the tree said Come, boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I'm too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? Oh, I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you will be happy. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time, and the tree was sad. And then one day, the boy came back, and the tree shook with joy and said, Come, boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I'm too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife, and I want children, and so I need it. A house. Can you give me a house? Oh, I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house, but you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time. 
And when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Come, boy, she whispered. Come and play. I'm too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. And after a long time, the boy came back again. I'm sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I'm too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I'm too tired to climb, said the boy. I'm sorry, sighed the tree. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I'm just an old stump. I'm sorry. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I'm very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The end. That was a great story. Now, can you try and tell me the main idea or theme of that story? Go ahead and press pause and think about it for a little while. And press play when you're ready. Good thinking, friend. So the main idea or theme of that story was our superpower of the day. Do you remember what it was? So our superpower of the day was giving. Giving is the main idea or theme of that story. Good job. So before you go, I want to ask you some superpower questions to make sure that you're ready to conquer the day with the gift or power of giving. All right, let's get started. Who are the main characters in this story? Go ahead and press pause and think about it. Then press play when you're ready. Good thinking, friend. Yes, so the main characters in this story were the giving tree and the boy. And it's good to note that sometimes the main characters in stories won't be humans or people like me and you. Sometimes they'll be trees, like the giving tree. They can be a dog or even mice. Good job, friend. Next question. What were some activities the boy did with the tree? Go ahead and press pause and think about it because there's quite a few. And press play when you're ready. All right. So some of the things the boy did with the tree were gather her leaves. He gathered her leaves and made a nice crown out of them and played king of the forest. He also climbed up her trunk, swung from her branches. He even played hide and go seek with her. If you said any of those, you are correct, friend. Good job. When the boy grew older and didn't visit the tree anymore, how do you think the tree felt? Go ahead and pause and think about it for a little bit and press play when you're ready. Awesome. So. 
if you answered the tree felt sad, alone, or even disappointed, you are correct. And it's good to note, friend, that sometimes we can feel more than one feeling. We can be sad and also a little bit disappointed. We can be nervous, but still a little excited, looking forward to something. So we can feel more than one emotion at the same time. Good job. When the boy asked the tree for money, what did the tree give instead? Go ahead and pause and think, and I'll see you when you get back. Good thinking. So the tree didn't have money, but they, the tree suggested that the boy take her apples instead and sell them to get money. Good job. When the boy asked for a house, what did the tree give him instead? Go ahead and take a second to think. Press pause and then press play when you're ready. Good job. So the tree could not give the boy a house. The tree said, the forest is my home. But the tree did suggest that you take my branches and make a house. If you answer that, you're correct. Good job, friend. When the boy asked for a boat, what did the tree give instead? Go ahead and press pause, friend. You are on a roll. When the boy asked for a boat, the tree didn't have a boat, but they did offer to give its trunk instead. If you answered trunk, you are correct. When the boy said he was tired, what did the tree do? Go ahead and think about it. Good. When the boy said that he was tired, the tree sat straight up and said, come rest on me, boy, and used its stump as a seed. If you answered stump or seed, you're correct. Last question, friend. So uh, how do you think the tree felt at the end of the story? Go ahead and think about it. awesome job. At the end of the story, the tree felt happy. Those were the exact words. The tree was happy because once again, the tree could give to the boy. All right, friend, that is it for today. Good job. You have officially earned your superpower of giving. Yes, you are a giver. And I ask that you do one thing that goes with your superpower giving. Try it out. And I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.